Rushmore gazing over the Black Hills of South Dakota. It was about the same time that these heads were being carved into the rock in the 1930s that elsewhere scientists began to notice there was something very strange about the universe. A huge chunk of it appeared to be missing. It's a mystery that's baffled scientists for decades, but now an answer might lie just around the corner from here, as not far away in the Black Hills, a bold new experiment is about to get underway. The Homestake Gold Mine. It's here where scientists have the best chance yet of finding dark matter, a mysterious substance born in the Big Bang. It could make up more than a quarter of the universe. South Cage to the 4850. South Cage going to the 4850. Lower South Cage. But nobody knows what form dark matter takes, or even if it really exists. This cage descent was once the daily commute for gold miners. Now it's scientists that make the journey one mile down to one of the deepest laboratories in the world. It takes about 10 minutes to get to level 4850. Ample time to swat up on a bit of particle physics. Galaxies like our own consist of planets and stars and dust, all rotating around a dense centre. The thing is, all this regular matter simply doesn't have enough mass to account for the gravity needed to hold the galaxy together. The whole thing should fly apart. There must be something else there, something we can't see. And scientists believe that's dark matter. And it's this that creates the mass and the gravity needed to bind the galaxy together. The thinking is that dark matter played a vital part in the evolution of the universe. Its existence is even more compelling if we consider its influence on a grander scale. This is a computer projection mapping in blue where scientists think it's at its densest. And across its web of clumps and tangles, galaxies merge and cluster. It's essentially the invisible scaffold upon which our cosmos is hung. Nobody actually knows what dark matter looks like, but imagine I could use this lens to take a look at these mysterious particles. Scientists think they're everywhere, hanging in space, but because the Earth is constantly in motion, it would look like they're streaming through us, trillions upon trillions, passing through us every second, like ghosts. This phantom-like quality is what makes them so hard to detect. But there is a theory that dark matter particles do sometimes bump into regular matter. And it's why we're going deep underground to the Sanford Laboratory, where they hope to catch these extremely rare encounters in the act. This subterranean lab is shielded from naturally occurring radiation found up on the surface, giving the experiment, called Lux, the cosmic quiet it needs for its detection work. And this is what it's all about. One mile underground, a tank spanning two storeys. It contains nearly 100,000 gallons of ultra-purified water. And suspended at its heart is the most sensitive dark matter detector ever built. The detector contains 800 pounds of the chemical element xenon in its liquid form. Although most dark matter particles will pass straight through, on the rare occasions when, they hope, a particle does bump into a xenon atom, it will generate a momentary flash of light, which highly sensitive sensors built into the detector will record. Of course, it's where the detector itself is uh, located. Rick Gateschool is one of the people behind the work going on in this lab cave. His quest to prove dark matter exists is decades long. We all thought we were going to solve it in the first five years of looking. Uh, we're just on the threshold of starting a new search 
with a LUX detector, which is going to last for around 300 days. And we're configuring the detector to look for the extremely occasional interaction, possibly one every month or every few months. So if, if we can get an answer to what dark matter is, not only will we have explained what the majority of the matter in the, uh, uh, the universe is made of, but we will also really usher in a new era in our understanding of, uh, of uh, the fundamental physics of this universe. Finding dark matter will put the Sanford Laboratory on the map, but they're conscious they're not the only team looking. There are a handful of experiments located at different underground laboratories around the world that they want to be the first ones to stand up and say, we have discovered it. And so it is very competitive and they track what each other, where they're at and results that come out. It's, uh, it's a really an interesting process to see these guys and, and ladies competing to, to try and be the first. Back up at the surface and just round the corner from the gold mine is the old gambling town of Deadwood. Now it's scientists hoping to strike it lucky here. Whoever is fortunate enough to be able to discover dark matter first, it certainly will be a Nobel Prize winning result. But entire careers are being staked on a particle that might not even be there. You know, one always has to allow for the idea that the experiment may produce a, uh, a negative result. The uh, standard riposte under those circumstances, of course, is, is in this case is to build a bit bigger one. Here in South Dakota, though, an audacious gamble can sometimes pay off. Mm -hmm.